For the following exercises, use the functions f of x equals 2x squared plus 1 and g of x equals 3x plus 5 to evaluate or find the composite function as indicated. Okay, and then we have four different examples. Okie dokie. All right, so let's work all the way on the left. f of g of 2. So remember, with composite functions, we always work from the inner function to the outer function. The inner function is the one that's inside the parentheses. So between f and g, the g function would be the inner function here. And the f function would be the outer function. Okay, so we always work from inner to outer. So the first thing that we're going to do is you're always going to plug in the input. It's usually going to be a number for the inner function and solve. And for this case, the number that they gave us was 2. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do g of 2. And that means we have to go to the g function, which is this one. The g function was 3x plus 5. And with this number, for all x values, you will plug in that number. In this case, it's going to be a 2. So it will be 3 times 2 and then finish out the function, plus 5. Then just use your algebra. g of 2 equals 3 times 2 is 6. 6 plus 5 is 11. That's the answer to the first part. And now we're going to take that answer, and that's going to be your new input, right? We just solved for that, and we're going to plug it into the outer function. So that's step number 2. The outer function is the f function. But what number do I put in here? Oh, I put in 11. It's the answer to what you got. And now I go to the f function. Wherever I see an x value, I plug in the number that was provided or that we just found out. So in this case, it would be 2 times 11 squared and then plus 1. Finish out the function. Okay, so let's just simplify this. f11 equals... 11 squared is saying 11 times 11. So I believe that that's 121. 11 times 11 is 121, yeah. Now we have to do 121 times 2. So 121 times 2 is 242. And then plus 1. So you get 243. And now this would be the same thing if I just grouped everything together. So this is actually the final answer of f of g of 2, which would be, actually double parentheses here, which would be 243. And that is the answer to the first part. Not bad, guys. Let's move on to the next one. This one, they just want f of g of x, but still, it's the same exact idea. g of x is the inner function. And the f function is the outer function. Okay, so the first thing is, use the inner function. In this case, they didn't give us a number. It was just g of x. Oh, but we know what g of x is. It's literally this. So g of x would be 3x plus 5. And the first part is done. Now moving on to the second part, you plug in this answer for the outer function, which is f. So f of... 3x plus 5. Okay, so now I have to go to the f function. Uh-oh, now we got to plug in 3x plus 5 into that x squared. So let's do that. We have 2 times 3x plus 5 squared plus 1. Okay, now we got to do some math. We got to foil this, right? Um, if you want to do this. I mean, you can foil it out. This answer would be acceptable, though, for the answer if they, they don't want you to simplify it, but we'll just simplify it. I'll do this real quick for you guys. So we have to do 3x plus 5 twice. That's what squaring something is. And then this is all multiplied by 2, and then plus 1. This is where you do your uh, factoring and you're distributing, you have to multiply the first value by the first and second one, and then you take the second one and multiply it by the first and the second one of the other one. So this would all be 2 times 3x squared times 3x squared is 9x squared. 
oh, sorry, 3x times 3x is 9x squared plus 15x. And then we get another 15x. Whoop. And then plus 25, plus 1. And now you need to, we'll clean this up a little bit. So it'd be 2, 9x squared plus 30x plus 25, because we're adding like terms here. These are your like terms. 15x and 15x equals 30x plus 1. And now we will distribute this 2 to all of the terms, right? So we have to multiply it by 9, 30, and by 25. So 2 times 9 is 18x squared. 2 times 30 is 60x. And 2 times 25 is 50 plus 1. So now we finally have an answer. f of g of x equals 18x squared plus 16x, 60x plus 51. And this is the same thing as saying um, f of 3x plus 5. So they all mean the same exact thing. Okay? Oof. That one was just a factoring game, but hopefully you can just get it to here and be done with it. Okay, let's go to the next one. G of f of negative 3. Okay, so f of negative 3 is the inner function. G is the outer function. All right, so for the first part, we have to do f of negative 3. So I go to the f function. Anytime that I see a x value right here, you plug in negative 3. So 2 times a negative 3 now being squared plus 1. Be careful here. This is negative 3 times another negative 3. Make sure that this negative is in the parentheses. Negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. It's a positive value. It is not negative. So f of negative 3 equals 2 times 9 plus 1. And then you can solve from here. So f of negative 3 equals 2 times 9 is 18. 18 plus 1 is 19. And that's the answer to the first part. So now I just got to take the 19 and use it for my outer function, which was the g function. So g of 19, right? This goes in for here. And now I look at my g function. Wherever there is an x value, I will plug in a 19. So we got... 3 times 19, and then plus 5. You could plug this all into your calculator, right? 3 times 19, 57. 57 plus 5 is 62. So g of 19 equals 62. And this is the same thing, if I can just put this all together, this is the same thing as saying g of f of negative 3 which equals 62. So there you go. Okay, last one. Oof. I do not like this notation. So I always try to take this notation out and plug it into what we've been seeing with our parentheses, right? Just know that this notation is the same as the notation um, that we've been seeing, the f of g of x. So just know that the first letter that they give you is always the outer function. The second letter that they give you is always the inner function. So if I can just rewrite this, I will say g of g of x. And now I clearly can see that this is my inner and this is my outer. Okay. Now I'm going to work off of that. One, g of x... Well, g of x is just 3x plus 5. So no math there. But now I have to plug in this answer into my outer function. And it was a, another g function. So g of 3x plus 5. Which means that any time that I see an x, I need to plug in 3x plus 5. So let's see. I will say 3 times, there's an x value, so 3x plus 5, and then finish it out, plus 5. Now all you got to do is simplify. This is distributing, right? 
3 times 3x and then 3 times 5. So g of 3x plus 5 equals 9x plus 15 plus 5. Now we can simplify this easy. g of 3x plus 5, which is the same thing as g of g of x. And if you want to say it as the other one, g composed with g at x, this all equals 9x plus 20, because 15 plus 5 is 20. And there is the final answer for this part. Oof. Crazy. Okay. So this one was fun. Just, you know, puzzles and solving and manipulating and simplifying. But guys, we did it. What do you think? Let me know in the comments what you think. If you want to help us grow and help the channel grow and support us, please hit the subscribe button so that we get to, you know, more people out there that need mouth help. We also have physics help. Um, so we guys come, we guys got so many, many subjects coming your way. All right. Thank you so much. And I will see you guys all in the next lesson. Bye-bye.